Welcome to the Get Your Ass Up podcast. I'm your host, Tony the Closer, and today we're kicking off a series that's been making waves in the real estate streets, y'all. It's called the Big Business Expose. We're uncovering the truth behind the real estate empire. In this series, we'll be diving deep into the story of real estate influencer known as Greg Big Business Parker. From his meteoric rise to the allegations that are putting him on a hot seat, we'll leave no stone unturned. So buckle up because this one's going to be crazy, y'all. Man, listen. He built an empire on a promise of wealth, success, but behind that glitz and glamour, there was a storm brewing, allegations of unpaid mentees, disgruntled investors and employees, unquestionable business practices. Man, all this has put Greg Big Business uh, Parker on the hot seat right now. He's under the microscope. What's the real of a story behind this real estate mogul? How did it all come crashing down? Join me, your boy Tony, to close on the Get Your Ass Up podcast as we unravel this big business saga from the rise to the controversy. We're exposing it all. The big business expose coming soon. Welcome to the Get Your Ass Up Podcast. I'm Tony the Closer. I'm here to inspire and motivate you to never give up on your dreams. As a former NFL athlete who overcame personal setbacks like going to jail and bankruptcy, I turned my life around to become one of the top salesmen in the world. In this podcast, we'll feature celebrity guests, successful entrepreneurs, and my incredible network to give you real world advice on how to achieve success in all aspects of life. Whether you're looking to build a successful business, achieve financial freedom, or simply need some motivation to keep pushing forward, we've got you covered. Man, we've had amazing celebrity guests on here like Dame Dash, T.I., my boy Joe Hayden and Edrin James, Andre Berto and more, sharing their stories and insights on how to reach their full potential. Listen, so are you ready to get your ass up and achieve your dreams? Hit that subscribe button right now so you never miss an episode of the Get Your Ass Up podcast with me, your boy Tony the Closer. Let's dive in. Let's change your life together. Let's go. Into a room to- <clears throat> Good morning, y'all. <laughs> Rents due. The niggas' payments is due too, man. I was just listening to these niggas talk on uh, Big Business Live, man. And this is the most disgusting play on intelligence, people's lack of intelligence, disrespect to the people that's actual victims. Um, it's crazy as a motherfucker, man. And I guess nigga ain't like that I was in there really uh, talking that shit to these niggas and nigga just blocked me. So niggas done reported my other page. And then they done, uh, he just blocked me off, uh, off the Get Your Ass Up page. Um, but yeah, we gonna keep putting heat on these niggas, man. We gonna keep applying pressure. He has now entered into the no refunds, no peace, uh, category. Yeah, we, we, we have now officially put Greg in the same category as Jay. No refunds, no peace. I'm telling you, the reality is right now is a whole bunch of motherfuckers that's looking for their money, and he go try to find a motherfucker that he paid back already, and make it seem as if it's normal that for real estate transactions that you don't have money held in escrow, like you don't actually have like a real uh, designated place or where these monies are held, and be able to document and show people where their uh, their uh, their investment is. See, the problem is a lot of people aren't intelligent. So they just letting this nigga just come out here and just spit out anything and, and say shit that, that, that like could make sense to somebody that's like maybe doing like street business but not actual real estate business. Because if you're doing actual real estate business, money gets held in escrow. If you're if you're buying real real property, the real property is held in escrow. Money's held in escrow. Um, and then more importantly, as you look at all these people that have come up and talked about their experiences, all the experiences have been identical. Um, even the mentees that are talking about, they, they finally got their money back. He brought a girl on this morning and, and she had to get a refund. She didn't have a successful venture 
actually investing with Greg. And I think this is the part that you got to pay attention to. These people are so stupid, they'll sit here and tell right there on themselves. They're the stupidest motherfuckers I've ever seen in my life. I've never, I've never seen people that are criminals that just be so goddamn dumb that they just get out there and just tell on themselves like they do these days. Like, these got to be the most untrained, stupid motherfuckers I've ever seen in my life. Sometimes it's just shut the fuck up and don't say anything. You're bringing people on that you that that you were supposed to be buying real estate for who actually didn't ever get real estate that said that, yeah, I actually got my money back. Nigga, that's not real estate. What happened to the real estate that they were buying? Like, make it make sense that a nigga is telling people that, yo, I'm a real estate uh, investor and I, I go and fix and flip and I do all these different things and I'm buying you real estate. But yet nobody's actually getting the property. They're not getting the real estate. They're, they're not getting finished properties. They're not making their money off the actual asset that he's now uh, put, uh, fixed, flipped, and put together where he's going to be an income-producing asset. He's actually refunding these people. Like, I want y'all to understand that. He's actually refunding these people. Like, my nigga, why would you have to get somebody their money back if you actually fixed, flip, and sold the property and it was in the condition that it could actually be profitable? I don't think people think and use common sense sometimes. This girl just literally got up there on, her, on, on, on his live and started talking about how she was successful, but then she said she had 30 mentors. So no, you weren't successful with real estate. What you were able to do was, was build your following your, and your uh, money up by, by using his, uh, his scamming ass lies to get mentees. Y'all gotta pay attention. These people will tell you everything. She said, yeah, I've, I've now had about 30 mentees since, since I did this. She didn't say I had 30 real estate deals. Yeah, he helped them create mentorship programs off his following, try to capitalize it. Like, think about what he did, man. Like, y'all just listen to it. It's fucking right there in your face. It's like, yo, so none of these people had success with real estate, but yet you the real estate guru? All these people actually had success being a mentor, getting mentees, and then selling programs and courses off your actual program that you got going on. My back. There we go. Think about it now. All, all, all of the people that's been around him, Alexia Wright, Hyde the Billionaire, the young lady that was just up there. What was that? The Haitian, what was the Haitian CEO? All these dudes, all their success is coming from selling mentorship programs to the masses of people that all got introduced to them. None of it came from real estate. Just think about it now. All these people that he bringing up, they can't tell you about the money that they actually made doing no goddamn real estate with them. This nigga's supposed to be everybody when they talk about their Cleveland experience, all of them said they lost money. Everybody you hear talk about Cleveland lost money. Brandy brought her ass out there sounding retarded in the motherfucker. Girl, you just say, hey, I ain't making no money. I don't know why people tripping. You say you don't know why people tripping and shit. You don't know why they acting that way. They can just give you a call. You just literally then came back and thing that you said by saying, I had to go yeah. I had to tell them I couldn't get be without my money and this that. And so you basically had to do what everybody else did, but you just had a direct line because you was working with him, so he gave you your money back faster. I just want you to think about it. All these niggas are stupid, man.
All these niggas is on the same type of shit. None, none, none of these people, none of them are telling you, hey, I had success with the investments that we did with Cleveland. Greg was able to do the full flip, fix flip, the construction, and then do the actual back-end property management where I didn't have to do anything hands-off and I was able to get 25% on my money. Why can't he do that? I just want to understand. It's very, very clear. If you if you are the guy that does the whole process, you go find the property, you fix the property, you put out the mortgage on the property, you do the uh, the property management. Where is these people's? Uh, ROI, where is their asset? <clears throat> See, I don't know if anybody solid they sit around that nigga. I question any and everybody that's around the nigga. If you was around that nigga, Greg Parker, you had to smell this shit a mile away. I don't wanna hear none of that, oh, one person is separated and all, fuck all that shit. I wanna put you under the microscope. I want to put you under the microscope. I want you to tell me and explain to me how you just had multiple people that sat on your live and not one of them was able to say that they actually made money through the real estate investing shit that you had going on. I've been seeing people saying something about Meek the Zillionaire. I've been getting shit on her for a little bit too. I just ain't, I ain't said nothing yet, but I be, I be getting shit, niggas be DMing me about people all the time. All the time. I wanna know, when you look at these people, when you talk about uh, this girl Brandy that was just on live, a little Rambo that was up there. What, what's that nigga name that was just on the live with him? That he, yeah, Tony. I got screenshots. What type of weirdo shit? You, what you screenshot? You the police for this nigga? Uh, 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 uh G or something, nigga? What, what, what is you, nigga? Is you the police for this nigga? This nigga was sitting up there talking about some yeah, We got screenshots. Boy, I ain't never seen niggas ride a dick like this in my life. I ain't never seen nigga just jump on a nigga dick like this in my life, man. Boy, I mean, that nigga just, that goddamn boy, you took that bitch for a ride. You took that bitch for a ride. I mean, that thing was goddamn creamy the way you jumped on it, boy. Goddamn. You ain't goddamn shit. He ain't had to defend himself. You, you defended for him. Goddamn, boy. Shit crazy to the motherfucker, boy. You just rolled that dick. Rolled that dick, dude. Yeah. Yeah, nigga rolled that dick. I see you on the live. Yeah, Mr. Jackson, we seen your ass, boy. Your motherfucking ass was riding that dick, boy. Ooh, wait. You like one of them motherfuckers off one of them little Twitter threads, that damn Sean page or something like that. Boy, the way you rolled that dick, I thought I was on one of them little uh, Twitter threads. That thing, that boy jumped on that dick. Goddamn, did he jump on that dick? Boy, he jumped on that dick, boy. Mm -hmm. Mr. Jackson jumping on that dick like that, boy. Goddamn. That nigga jumped all over that dick. What's that nigga name? Yeah, Mr. Jackson, face ass, boy. <clears throat> they call me motherfucking Antonio. I said, nigga, my name Anthony, bitch. 
Get my motherfucking name right, nigga. I got a player name, Anthony, nigga. Ain't no Antonio, nigga. Fuck wrong with you? You talking about your mama named you? Keep my mama name out your mouth first and foremost, bitch ass nigga, because you don't know nothing about my mama, nigga. I don't play by my mama, nigga. We, we take that shit somewhere different then. Keep my mama name out your mouth, bitch. You don't know me. Hey, nigga, I'm talking about, nigga, I be ready to die. You talk about my mama, nigga, so you better be ready to die. You talk about my mom, nigga, just be prepared to die. Keep my mom out any conversation that you ever discuss, my nigga, because unless you're ready for death, nigga, that's what I'm be on. Okay? My name is fucking Anthony, boy. So you want to have a death of your career, a death of whatever, nigga, keep playing, put anything with, with my mom Beverly in your mouth, nigga. And I'm just going to tell you, nigga, it's going to get real uncomfortable for you. I don't know what's wrong with you little weird niggas, but certain, certain shit, nigga, I don't even, nigga, you, hey, you, you introduced my mom, bitch ass nigga, and I, I'm talking about nigga, you better be ready to die. The nigga blocked me, how he gonna go live with me? He know where I'm at. Tell the nigga to unblock me. The bitch ass nigga just blocked me. <laughs> he told me I go live with him. The nigga just blocked me, yo. Tell Greg to unblock me, pussy nigga. Tell Big Business to come out at me. Tell him to unblock me and bring his ass in here, nigga. Let's talk about it. Tell Big Business to unblock me, come in here, let's talk about it. I gave the nigga a platform. I love him. He said I got 3,000 followers from it, all that shit. Yeah, that nigga, that nigga no man, like, don't, don't, hey, look, unblock me, nigga. And, and motherfucking come in here and let's figure it out. Let's see who tell the truth. If you tell the truth, nigga, all these motherfuckers just lying on you. Right? More than welcome to come over here, man. See, I got enough people that send me information. I got plenty of questions that I would love to get answers to. I, I'm just here for the answers. Yeah, Mr. Jackson, ain't no need to follow me, my nigga. You just put my mom name in your mouth first and foremost, my nigga. Like, I want to see you sometime real soon. Niggas in here talking about they motherfucking made money with Greg. Niggas out here riding dick on niggas that's stealing from thousands of people. Nigga, fuck out of here, man. These niggas be out here caught chasing and talking on a nigga that they, they this nigga is thousands, of, hundreds of niggas in my DM, nigga. <laughs> niggas out here just co-signing anything, man. You niggas are co-signing anything. You soft as hell. I don't give a fuck what you say. Tell me that you made money with that nigga that you went through the entire real estate process and made money with. Tell me that you went from beginning to end, that he found you the property, that he didn't motherfucking sell you a property at retail that he paid fucking wholesale for. Tell me that he actually renovated and fixed up the property and now you got a property management company that's successfully managing that company. If you can tell me that, then I'll respect you. Until then, shut the fuck up. Don't tell me about no mentorship that you done start selling that you goddamn got up underneath his umbrella. That's bitch nigga shit. Y'all niggas, I'm the boogeyman. I'm the boogeyman to all you scamming ass niggas. Where that nigga go? Where that Action Jackson nigga at? Send me, I want the, act, the Action Jackson nigga to send me a live request.
hell wrong with these niggas, man? I want you to explain to me why he just had multiple people come on the live and say, hey, look, nah, the Cleveland deal didn't go the way that we expected it to go, but I got my money back. So wait, you didn't get a house? So what was the money used for, Greg? If, if none of these people got the house, what the fuck? Do you niggas not understand real estate? Do you niggas not understand real estate? I'm looking for that Mr. Jackson nigga, man. I thought y'all seen you follow me just a second ago. Where your ass at? That's the nigga I want to talk to. Motherfucker literally just had three people come on alive and they all said that they did they had to get a refund and get their money back because they didn't get no property and the shit was fucked up. Like nigga, I, I thought you understood what you was doing. I thought you had all the teams and systems, you had 60 plus people, you had a full machine, everything made sense. You had it organized, structured, everything, right? You got people paying you mortgages through Cash App. Bro, you unprofessional, you doing straight nigga shit. And niggas is co-signing. Jackson, I just sent you a live request. Mr. Jackson, you just were talking about my name was Antonio and everything else. Like, nigga, I like to address niggas head on. I don't just talk about niggas behind their back. I look them in the eyes so at least a nigga can know where you're coming from. Sent you the live request. I know you already dressed. I seen your big ass beard and shit, nigga. You got your little Taliban scarf on, nigga. Let's talk. Oh, he's unable to join. Nigga, you can watch me, but you can't join the live. You can watch me, you're live in here right now, but you can't join the live. See, that's why I be done with you, nigga, man. Because you know once you have a conversation, nigga, none of the shit that you can say, I'm going to ask you the real questions. I'm going to ask you real questions, my nigga. See, all that all that just want to dick ride a nigga and motherfucking say, oh, I don't know why all these niggas attacking you and everything else. No, nah, bro, you got, see, now you, you, see, it's one thing when you just give a one-sided story. It's one thing you get a one side of the story, but once you got a nigga that's intelligent enough and know how the process actually works, you can't talk and push that bullshit to me, my nigga. Like, I actually know how the process works. Why y'all be wanting to talk to a nigga to actually know what's going on? I'm, I'm tired of y'all talking to these low intelligent, like low IQ, stupid ass niggas on there. Don't bring no more dumb niggas up there on the live that can't tell me where the fucking closing is. They ain't even, none of them even been to a closing with you yet, Greg. Why, why are all these motherfuckers talking about their success only through the form of a mentorship? Motherfuckers come out here and talk about some, yeah, I got I got 30 mentees now. I bet you like that. Yeah, yeah, you got 30 mentees. You ain't sold not a motherfucking house. That nigga Tony get on your ass, boy. You motherfucking low IQ niggas gonna get mad at me. Oh, you motherfuckers gonna get mad at me. See, it, but then the thing is like, this is the thing. Niggas will wanna try to position it like a nigga hating on a nigga, but a nigga can't answer simple fucking questions, man. If these people gave you money to purchase real property, real estate, why was that money not put in escrow? Why is that money not accounted for? Why is it that it's 
four, five, six years later, and that money still hasn't been, re been released because it should be an escrow. The money should be an escrow. If you're purchasing real estate, the money don't go to a nigga bank account, y'all. The money goes into escrow. I just want y'all to understand this, nigga. The money don't go to Greg. It don't go to Greg Parker. If you're buying real estate, the money don't go to Greg Parker. Y'all niggas writing checks to Greg Parker, nigga. No, that's this nigga was committing fraud, my nigga. If you buy on one, two, three Main Street, the money will go to the motherfucking closing attorney, title company. It will be wired to them. It will be wired to the closing attorney, title company, not to Greg Parker. Not to none of his LLCs or entities. Understand this. If you're buying a $40,000 property at 123 Main Street in Cleveland, Ohio, that's what you should have on your contract. That's what should be on your paperwork. That's what you should be sending to that title company. Anything else beyond that is bullshit. You are getting a property at 123 Main Street and you just paid $40,000 for that property. You do not put, and your, your total purchase price is $40,000. You do not put down $40,000 as your actual earnest money and then the person changes the contract to $100,000 for your actual retail price. That is called fraudulent, my nigga. I want, I want a nigga real quick to tell me if that nigga Mr. Jackson can come in here and tell me that he's intelligent enough to break down and explain to me how that would make sense in real estate. Since I'm hating on a nigga, I want him to motherfucking explain this shit to me and the logic that I can explain it because nigga, maybe I'm just missing it. I want to know how all these properties got liens on it. I want to know how people who properties that have that you have deeded to them have been sold without their knowledge. I want to know that. You can talk this motherfucking shit to other people, man, but you can never talk that shit to niggas that actually understand the actual real estate business. Why am I buying a property at fucking 123 Main Street in Cleveland? Am I making a checkout to Greg Parker? Why is it that there's no construction work done on any of these properties? Why is it that a man paid you $150,000 for a property? You changed the fucking purchase price to $300,000 plus on a property that was worth less than fucking 40 grand. Supposed to be his mentor, his mentor. See, Greg, what you are, you are the worst definition of a clown, a piece of shit. You are a thief. I say this and I stand on it. If I'm lying, nigga, sue me. See, that's how it works, Greg. You're a real rich nigga. Real rich niggas would say cease and desist. Real rich niggas would have their attorneys reaching out immediately to shut me up. You know what I'm saying? I want to challenge you, bro, because see, what I understand is once you sue me, we will now have to get access to those actual bank records. We're going to talk about the for your, your property that has been up for foreclosure for many, many years now. Your New Jersey property that's been up for foreclosure for so many years. Greg, if you're making so much money, why was your property in foreclosure so many times? You said you was richer than me, Greg. Why do you have property in foreclosure for years? I want to understand if you're teaching people real estate and you understand that, why is your personal property even listed in your personal name where somebody can even research it and know that it's you? See, you can never know how many properties I own because I actually understand the game of real estate. I actually under, I understand the game of real estate. You niggas, you niggas just love talking this shit online to niggas that have a lower IQ than you and then being able to feel like you actually know some shit.
So this is what I want you to do. I want you and your fake ass mentees that saying that they're successful to show me how you took them through the entire process from beginning to end, and now you are actually having a successful property management company that runs their business for them, hands on at 25%, because that's what you were selling. intelligence side of the street now welcome good morning would you like to address me by my proper name antonio what, what what's your proper name what let me ask you what would you my prefer to be addressed Anthony Robinson to you is the closer so I heard you looking for me what's up yeah you was disrespectful you put my mom's name in you your disrespect mouth. I don't know your mom's name first off you, and I didn't say anything. You, you said your I didn't mom, say anything you said your disrespectful mom, to your, your mother. Mom, you said I said your mom, Antonio, said Antonio, which is your name, I'm right? You, that's not my fault. You disrespectful name. all the time to everybody. You can tolerate I, somebody being disrespectful, disrespectful to you. I know you, you can. I know you can, brother. You're an intelligent brother. You disrespectful all the time. You can't tolerate a little disrespect, of, even if that's how you took it, and that's not how it was meant. And first of all, I ain't gonna disrespect your mother because she ain't got nothing to do with this. Let's let's not put that out there. I didn't say anything negative about your mother either, Tony. I love my mama. I know you love your mama. Don't do that, bro. This between me and you is men. So, let's get to it. You said that you're Greg Parker's mentee and that Tony the Closer is hating. Nah, I, I'm, not, I'm not his mentee. That's my bro. That's your bro. Oh, so that's your bro. So you're not even a mentee. So you're just speaking up just because you feel like the cake was necessary today. No, I'm speaking up because I've done business with him and I'm still doing business with him. And I see you've had a lot of victims come on your live and speak on him in a negative way. So it's only right that you get a count counterbalance, right? Someone that has done business with him and is still doing business with him and has had a positive experience. Now, not to say that we haven't had any disagreements or anything hasn't gone okay. wrong because they have. Okay, but so, he has stood on the business and he has made sure that it was right. Okay. And we've continued that. Okay, so how many properties do you have uh, that you have successfully bought and sold with Greg? I currently own all the properties I have. I haven't sold any of them. But it's how many, how many of those properties were the purchases of the Cleveland deal, for example? I have eight properties in Cleveland. Yeah, eight. And, and I have Greg eight. Did, yes. And Greg did the full fix, flip, renovation, and property management of those companies, of, of those properties. No, that hasn't been the that has not been the case with every see you gotta understand. And you know this, so we want to make sure the public knows this. Each real estate deal is different. The exit strategy for each one of those deals is different. Some of those properties are not going to be renovated. Some of those properties are being renovated. Some of those properties I'm sim simply sitting in in my portfolio for a different strategy. So every one of them is different. Same as each one of the people that have come onto your live with whatever their real estate deals were that they had. <clears throat> each one of those deals, the details of those deals have been different. So they let me, give you, you, the full let me ask you a question. Uh -huh. Because this is, very, this is very direct. Yes. The, pre the presentation of what, what, what Greg was selling is that each property he was going to do have his team come through, do a full a full reno. It was going to be a, a, a property that he would spend twenty to thirty thousand dollars. He'd do the whole construction project, and then you guys would get this. So I'm just trying to. I, I, no, I need, that I need wasn't. Clarity now that, because this is this is this is what this is what is on the contract. This is what he's saying that he has mortgages. He's alleging these mortgages now. So I, I I'm just not. You just can't tell me anything because what, what's been what's been said is that he told people that. He was going to find a property for him. He was going to actually do the renovation to the property. And then he was going to actually do the actual property management of it. So it was going to be a full hands-off experience where you can make 20 to 25 percent. Now, if you're saying, if you're saying to me that that's not what the case is, I'm confused. That's not the case. That hasn't been the case on any of my deals, any of my contracts. Now, if that's the case in some of the other people's contracts, that's the deal that they worked out. That's whatever they negotiated. 
So the deal so were you, that I had with Rohan. Were you in a group? Were you, I just want to when I so were you originally, When I originally came in, I was in a group, yes. So what so group number were you in? Details had? of, uh, it was 10. So group 10. you were in group 10? So, yeah. Hey, Keith. Right, so the details of the... Go ahead, go ahead. I'm not trying to speak over you. Go ahead. I was trying to answer the question. No, no, I was calling for, oh, you good. All right. So the details of my contract was this, right? I don't have it in front of me. I'm, I'm, I'm in the car. I was driving. But my details was this. I am buying a property at X amount. Period. I was not trying to finance. I was not trying to flip. I was not trying to renovate any of those properties. That stuff there came on later, which I decided to do. That wasn't a part of the contract that I negotiated with him. I simply bought the property from him. I, I hear you got people that are saying everything that you said said as far as them financing it, rehabbing it, this, that, and the third. My question is this here. If that is the case of your contract, regardless of who you're doing it with, you now have breach of contract, right? So you got a reason to go to the courts and say, hey, listen, I paid X amount for this service. So, Here's so you, you, are, you, are, and it has you, are, you are aware that, that there's again? people that have already taken him to courts to him and he's lost in the very scenario that you're giving right now, correct? Yeah. So so when you're saying somebody's hating, I'm confused when you say and it is another thing because you told me when we first when you first joined in, you said that you wasn't a mentee. And now just a few minutes ago, you said that you are. Say it again. I didn't. I couldn't hear the last part that you said. You said a few minutes ago something. You weren't a mentee. I'm not. Correct. How do you say you're not a mentee, but then when I ask you, were you a mentee? You say, yes, I was in group 10. No, the, you got to understand, those groups were not mentee groups. Those groups that were put together were basically investment groups. They, that's why I think people are getting confused. You have different products that are being bunched together. You got people that pay for mentorships. You, the groups were basically investment groups. We went to a class, and in those classes, we formulated investment groups. So you're you're in so a people, class, right? You're you're in a class learning from Greg, right? Yes. Action Jackson, come on, dog. You can't you can't hear me. I said yes. So if you're, you're in the class learning from Greg, you are a mentee, bro. You're in group ten. You are no, mentee, bro. For for all clarity, for all clarity, understand this. The mentorship that you were speaking on, that those people are speaking on, they paid $10,000 for a mentorship for him to take your hand, walk you through these different deals. They were with him for X amount of time. I don't know how many months or whatever. The groups were, uh, the groups were formulated from a class. These classes, you had anywhere from 50 to 60 people in there and they would break up. In into class, if you were in a class, you were also a mentee. That's mentorship, bro. <clears throat> You, you are so listen, mentee. you, you look, are a mentee, Mr. Jackson. Okay, Tony. Your 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 definition of mentorship is different than the definition in which they were going on. I've been in many can classes. I, can I ask you? Can I ask you? Can I ask you another question? Uh huh. Go ahead. You 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 said you have eight properties that are uh, in Cleveland, right? Yes. You mind sharing me a, a address or two? No. Why not? That's a part of my real estate portfolio. I'm not giving out any of my ads. I got properties not only in Cleveland. I just want to see here. one successful. Say it again. I'm just looking to see what a successful deal looks like to you. I just want to see what one of those successful deals looks like to you. I have the property. That's that's what. What do you mean? El elaborate on that for me. You you went through this program with Greg that you were so so excited to share to the world today about. I'm just simply asking you. No, to Tony. No, Tony. That's not the case. So that's I want, not the case either. I, I'm asking you to show me 
what it looks like to be a successful person that's done business with Greg, big business partner. You you looking at me? You looking at me? Tony. I, I want to know. I want to know. Like, when you, you're when, asking me. You're asking me to give you over addresses to my properties. I'm not gonna do that. I just, that my properties. I just would love. I would just love to see I'm not. Great, I'm not providing that to anyone. Now, how, if you're interested in buying a property, I'll I, provide I, that. I'll buy, I'll buy. How about this? I'll buy one from you. Show me your address, and I'll buy it. Okay. We'll discuss that. That ain't that ain't pub, that ain't for the public domain though. Yeah, give me an address. I buy it on live right now. Cash. Sounds good. Sounds I want, good. I want to see the if numbers. You're I want, if you're interested, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm I'll really, send you over the information. I'm, I'm you go really, through the deal, I'm you do really your due diligence, investor, bro. and so you I make me an offer. I understand to be able to have a good real estate deal. Uh huh. Like you have to buy it properly. Then you got to yes. make sure, like the rest of the, the, the market around you. And what I realized is that those properties were in areas where it was nothing but condemned properties, tear down. Yeah, shit like absolutely. That. So, so, so the cops can't be good, right? Because we looked last so, night, and I looked, I looked in those areas, and I, I looked at properties that literally, you know, Greg purchased for two thousand and sold to mentees for forty to fifty plus thousand dollars. I'm confused because I just want to know what you consider a good deal. Okay. Like to me, so let me, to me, to me, a good deal is where I'm in an equity position where I could actually sell and do my shit right now. So, see, to just be so honest, me, I actually hold property or I have a deed to something. See, there's many people that have deeds to valueless property. See, th there's a difference when you say, "Hey, I, I, I actually own real estate, and that's part of building my portfolio." But if you have valueless properties, it doesn't mean anything. If you got, if you, if okay. I, if I got, let me address If I got a hundred properties, if I got a hundred properties in in the middle of a swamp, nobody's going to live there. So, so it's like we got to understand. Like we just can't say, "Hey, I'm building my portfolio and this is successful," without being able to say, "Hey," and articulate, "Hey, I've been able to establish and have a property that I can be able to cash flow. I got properties that I I, I got the position where so, I can be, be able to make ROI." All right. All right. You done? Let me let me clear up that confusion for you, Tony. Then, at no time was I misled about any of the properties that I purchased. I went and seen every property that I purchased. I laid eyes on it. I walked through it. I inspected. I knew what I was buying. I know that I am buying distressed properties. All of the properties that I bought are distressed properties, mm -hmm. below market value. Did you? Buy, I know that. Did you? I go can I ask you a question? Hold on, Tony. I just want to know if you. I just want to know if finish. you actually bought those properties below market value. I did. Can so I get an once I go in, once I go in and I rehab, I know that now I force value into this property. So if I bought this property at fifteen thousand dollars or twenty thousand dollars, right, and I've gone in and I've done another fifty thousand dollars worth of work, and it comps out at a hundred, hundred twenty. I've made my money. You know, as some of these people may not be well versed in real estate. You make your money on the buy side. You can't come to a market like here in Miami. I'm spending four hundred thousand dollars on a property. That's market rate. When you resell that, you resell that six months from down the line. You ain't making no money off of that. You go into a market where you can buy distressed properties, wherever it is. This one here happens to be in Cleveland, and you're buying these properties under market value right mr jackson once you go ahead and you do the rehab and yes mr jackson have you been able to get one of your properties renovated and sold for a profit absolutely so you have been able to make yes, a profit i have how that's many, what i told you earlier i answered that question how, earlier how many how many properties out of your eight have you been able to fully renovate two two yes or were those renovations done by by greg parker's team yes the other six that you have. I'm sitting have? on those because I'm in other markets right now that I've invested capital into. So that Cleveland market, this is my prediction on the Cleveland market. 2024. No, that's not the prediction piece. No, no. That's gonna make it like wrong it's it's going to help you understand why I'm sitting on those other six properties. 2024, when the rest of the market catches up, I'm going to be able to take those properties that I've been sitting on and without doing any type of work, be able to resell them and make money off of that. So you follow so my, me? My, my thing uh -huh. is, if I if I if I'm a successful real estate investor, and there's a you know I just made two smoking deals, man. I just fixed and flipped these two properties in Cleveland, and I'm able to make money. 
And I got what six more of these. And I just don't do the same thing. I'm coming in a minute. Go ahead, brother. I'm sorry. I was on somebody back. So, so I got two successful deals that me and Greg do together, man. We kill it. We make money together. And I got six other ones and we just stop. Okay. What's what's the question? That's the question. Yeah. I've never seen people that had successful business. You got two great deals back to back. You got six other no. properties. Well, you know, you do a lot of business, right? Things happen. Strategies change. New information changes the situation. I may have just said, hey, you know what? I'm going to deploy capital in this market over here until this market here gets back hot. I'm going to go focus on this and make more money over here. Or it could be just, it can be whatever the reason the person chooses. Mr. Jackson, Tony, you're asking, you're asking Mr. These Jackson, if sir. You don't know the answer to me. Mr. Jackson, sir, that makes absolutely no sense. No? Let me let me try and say it. Let me say it. If I'm in the market, if I'm in the market, I just had two. Hold on, Tony. Let me answer the question for you. You said it makes no sense. So I'm gonna rephrase it for you. Whatever the reason I chose to stop deploying capital in one market, right? Because I can make more capital in another market, I can make more money than what I'm investing in another market is the reason I chose to pause one thing and reinvest money in another thing. You understand it from that way? Does it make sense to you that way? I'm, I'm with you. Okay. I, I, get, I, I get you. I, I hear your reasoning. But, oh. but, but, but to me, I'm just saying, you, you, you were just in Greg's defense on his live, right? Absolutely. And I'm just, and I'm, just, my, I'm, I'm always going to be in his defense. And, and, and he's and never and done saying, anything. And I'm going to let me finish. Right? Let me finish. Go ahead. If, if, if I'm, if I'm if seeing you come to Greg's defense and you said that, hey, I've had this experience where I made, I got six properties. I got two of these properties. I've been able to fix and flip with them. Everything's been what it's supposed to be and everything else. You choose, you choose to pause. You choose to take that moment to stop making that money or whatever that reasoning is. Here's my thing. When we have other victims that are coming out here and saying that they had shitty experiences, why would you take that opportunity to try to limit their voice and try to discredit what they're actually talking about because their experiences are real. Regardless of if you actually had a positive experience with Greg, there's other people that are out here voicing that, hey, I've actually put money into this guy and I haven't been able to get anything. So it seems like you're trying to minimize and take away from what they actually got going on. Go, go ahead, go buy it. So, so I, I, just want, I just want to have clarity. When you, when you say, hey, look, I got six properties, right? And I've had this type of success with him. And you're seeing all these other people that say, Hey, listen, my, my experience has been like this and I haven't got this, what I was expected and everything else. Why are you trying to use what your, what your limited success is to, to try to discredit what they're saying? No. Tony, first of all, I'm not using what I have to discredit anybody. Whatever their story is, that's their story. What I'm using is my story to say, hey, listen, whatever they got going on is one side of the story. What I got going on is the other side of the story. Same way you give them the ability to voice their story, I'm just voicing mine. That's all. It's, it's just another side to it, correct? Because it ain't like you can't make it seem like everything this man doing is just wrong or bad. Well, well, I you, can. Well, and, okay. And let me share with you. Okay, let, you can. Let, you, let, you, let me, right. you can. Let, That's let why me. I voice my side of it. But let me but because let me tell you not, something. Before before you voice your side, you should take you should take in perspective and be real considerate of other people because just because I don't have, have to. I don't have to. Let, let, I'm a rule I'm a rule motherfucker, Tony. I don't have to take in the side nobody's fucking perspective. Look, Fuck them. That's them. Look, they no, did bad see, business. See, but look, you say you saying that, but yet you won't even share a property address and to I, the properties that you sold. I'm not. To. But if you won't, if you won't share a property I'm not, address, Tony, that me sharing a property address does what? I told you that I'm gonna give you the address. Because you're willing to purchase it, and then bomb, you can roll from you, there. You have properties but Tony, that you have up, already that ain't sold. Correctly, nobody's story. You have properties that you have already sold, correct? So you would be at what would be that, the issue with you? So why wouldn't you share the address of the property that you sold? I'm gonna say this as simple as possible. I will not share an address to any property that I own to individuals who are not have an interest in buying that property. If you don't have the interest or the ability of buying any of my properties, I, I, I can buy. I can buy all of them today. So what's up? I want the address. Fine. 
Like I told you earlier, Tony. I, hey, look, I will. Sit I want the address. I'll buy all of them today because I, and if, 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 if the deal makes make sense to me, I want all of them. Over each other, I know we can. I'm telling you right now, if the deals make sense, I buy all of them. So okay. what's up? I know you're so, a business. You you got to be a businessman. So Tony, you're sitting, you're sitting here talking to a real real estate investor that's telling you right now, I buy all the motherfuckers off you right now. Good. So Tony, this is what I will do. I will email you the address of the properties. Do your due diligence, and if you really want to make me an offer on the properties, send it over to me. I make an offer on the property right now. All I need is the address. Tony. See, see, with, with, with the way real estate works now, man, it's easy. I, I know what you're doing, but I'm gonna say it to you again. Hey, man, like hey look, man, we, we, work, we work in the age. Look, we work in the age where we can get information in a matter. Of, I, I can make my I can make informed decisions in a matter of five seconds. I don't need. I don't need to take a whole bunch of time. I'll buy it on live right now. Okay. DM me your um your email address. You can just shoot me a DM with it. Hey Crystal, really quickly, can you put together a um, proposal for me? Give me um four of the addresses from the Cleveland properties. I'm gonna send you over an email address for somebody who's interested in them. Just package it up for me and we can send it over. Anytime today, anytime you get a chance. Look at the green button, right. yo. Thank you. Say it again. Bro, you just made a fake phone call. What? Hey man, I'm out of here, dude. Nigga's a clown. Hey, hey man, I'm out of here, dude. Really a clown. Hey man, hey man, hey dog. I know damn well. I know, I know y'all seen that green button down at the bottom, like I seen it. Bro, I'm still on the call. What? Oh you, shit. Listen, I'm gonna call you back. Tony, Tony, come on now, bro. I know y'all niggas seen that green button. I know y'all seen that motherfucking green button, man. I know y'all seen that green button. I know y'all saw that green button, man. Hell no, bro. Hey, hell no, bro. I see every motherfucking thing, dog. I see every. Everything, man. Niggas be thinking they can play with me, bruh. I see everything, nigga. You can never play me, man. Oh, my goodness, man. Like, niggas be trying to play. Hey, it's the reason why I'm the closer. I see motherfucking everything, nigga. I'm like... I'm like RoboCop on these niggas, man. I just bust cameras out loud. Like, come on, man. Fuck out of here, man. I, I need a show for this shit, man. This shit too easy. This shit too easy, man. This shit is... It's too easy, bro. Yo, this shit is too easy, man. Like, come on, dog. Come on, bro. I be telling y'all, man, these niggas are so crazy, bro. I'm like, hold on. Nigga, do I see that green button right there? I had to goddamn look down like, motherfucker, that is the green button. I said, hell no, dog. No. The nigga just had a whole conversation by his motherfucking self, dog. The nigga just had a whole mo yeah, yeah. Hey, get the paperwork together. Get me a proposal together. So yeah, we go. I need. I'm gonna send you an email address here in a few minutes. So yeah, give me the prop the four properties in Cleveland, nigga. What? Oh my god, yo, this shit crazy. This shit is crazy, man. I can't believe this shit. I can't believe this nigga, man. This nigga just had a whole call to himself like, yeah, 
Yeah, put a proposal together for the four properties in Cleveland. Yeah, yeah. Make sure, yeah, make sure we put them together. You gotta make sure we gotta have them like, yo, yeah, all right, yeah, I'm, I'm about to send you the, the, the email address, to send it to you in a few minutes. Nigga, what? They, they can't fuck with me, man. I'm the nicest in this shit. They can't fuck with me. I'm putting cases on all you bitches. <laughs> Oh man. Hell no. Oh man. I'm putting cases on all you bitches. Nigga, I looked over that motherfucker. I said. Is this nigga having a motherfucking conversation to the blank phone on live? Now that's the craziest shit I ever seen in life, nigga. What? Hey yo! Hey yo! Hey yo! I ain't never seen no shit like that. These niggas is crazy. These niggas. This is crazy, man. That nigga. Yeah, baby. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. I'm about to, yeah. Send me, send, hey, send me the four deals. Yeah, put them in. The, put. I need a proposal for the four deals. Put them in the package together. Yeah, put them from top to bottom from it. Yeah, in the sending order. I'm about to send you the email address in a few minutes. All right. All right. Cool. All right. All right. Yeah. Thank you. Boy. Hey, I'm a bad motherfucker, boy. I should have been a detective or some shit, boy. Ooh, hey, I should have been a motherfucking boy. I seen that motherfucker. You just try to pull a fast one on me, nigga. Ooh, I'm a bad motherfucker, y'all. Hey, man, I'm a bad motherfucker, boy. Hey, listen. Who you gonna call? Scam Buster! <laughs> hey man, yo, 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 nigga, what, nigga, what? This shit is the craziest shit I ever seen in my life. My. Goodness, man. Yo, I've never seen such bullshit in my fucking life. Niggas is crazy. Listen, y'all. <clears throat> this shit is unbelievable. To see a nigga get on live in front of hundreds of people and make a fake fucking phone call is something I've never fucking imagined in my natural black fucking life. Nigga sat on live in front of hundreds of people with one of the biggest, most intelligent real estate niggas in the game and tried to finesse me like I didn't know any better. I'm a bad, bad motherfucker, man. I'm a bad, bad motherfucker. Hey, y'all. Look, we're going to take a quick commercial ba- uh, break real quick. The Get Your Ass Up podcast is right now ranked in the top 10. And documentary is ranked in the top 140 now. Y'all letting it drop down a little bit. We have 140 in society and documentary. Make sure you go subscribe to the podcast. All of these lives I upload into actual uh, Apple So you can go subscribe to Apple right now. I'm giving away $1,000. Look, my ratings are only at like 600. We need 1,000 before I can go out and need more money. Y'all niggas, I'm I'm giving out $1,000 every day 
and y'all niggas ain't ain't going to rate the fucking podcast. It need five star ratings. When I get a thousand ratings, I'm giving out a thousand dollars in that minute sooner. So if y'all want to get some money, make sure y'all go get some niggas. Go rate, go sharing your stories. Get your ass up, show the number one show exposing gurus for the bullshit. I'm out here putting niggas to sleep. We got niggas making fake phone calls. We got Greg sweating like he a whore in church. We got Hyde tricking off like he motherfucking was shaking that ass. It's all kind of funky shit going on in the motherfucking world right now. And it's all coming out of the big business uh, umbrella. So all of the people that come from the big business umbrella, I'm looking at all of them like they're scammers. If, they, if they've been around big business, I'm looking at them like they're scammers. They all been... They've been knowing that this nigga is like that, Greg, you nasty, dirty motherfucker. You got niggas coming on live, making phone calls. And that. How much he pay you to do that shit? You need to tell me how much money that nigga paid you to do that shit. Because if he, if that shit was for free, nigga, you just put your whole reputation online for free, you are the biggest dick eater I've ever seen in my life. I'm talking about nigga. If he didn't pay you at least five bands for you to be able to do that shit right there, my nigga, I'm going to just say right now, nigga, you are the biggest dick eater. In my, I'm talking about wet ghetto gagging type shit. That was some ghetto gagging type dick eating right there, boy. I'm talking about super head level. I'm talking about Corinne Stephens type of motherfucking head. I'm talking about Tiana Trump type shit. If you motherfucking just did that shit for free, nigga, I'm talking about ooh wee, boy. You was sucking one then. Ooh wee. That nigga just got down. Oh, my God. Hey, that bet not been for free. That bet not been for free. That Bet not been for free. I'm just trying to tell you, my nigga, that that nigga was doing the, the, the double hand twister wizard with the got got two three thousand shit. That shit better not been for free, my nigga. Oh God, that better not been for free. There's no motherfucking way that you just motherfucking roll that dick like that for free. Ain't no way, boy. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. Thank you for tuning in to today's episode on the allegations against Greg Big Business uh, Parker. If you found this episode informative, valuable, be sure to make sure that you subscribe, rate, and review this Get Your Ass Up podcast on Apple Podcasts. Your support helps us continue to grow and bring us up the charts. We're having real talk, real insight, real conversations to help you succeed in life, avoid any of the type of crazy stuff that's happening right now. Look, if you've actually been a victim of any of these things, man, and you want your story to be heard, feel free to reach out, man. I'm doing these segments where you can join on my live. You can give us some feedback of what you got going on, man. Today's episode was literally alarming. Uh, we want to hear from you guys. Reach out to us on our social media page at Get Your Ass Up Show. And until next time, keep your eyes open, stay informed, and always operate with integrity. And remember to get your ass up. That's a wrap for today's episode of the Get Your Ass Up podcast. Thank you so much for joining me in this journey of learning, growth, and self-improvement. I hope you found value in our discussion and feel inspired to apply the insights we've shared to your own life. If you enjoyed the show, please don't forget to subscribe, leave a five-star review, and share it with your friends and family. We're committed to providing you valuable content to our listeners, and our, your support continues to help the growth, and I, I want to over-deliver on that promise. I'm your host, Tony DeClose, and I want to remind you to never stop striving for greatness. Keep pushing yourself. Never give up. And remember that we're all in this together. Stay tuned for more empowering episodes continuing our way to success. Until next time, keep moving forward. And remember, get your ass up and make that shit happen.